Hello, we're in Tonga. It's really lovely. It's very, very calm here. Everyone's been drinking kava, but they haven't given me any, which I'm very disappointed about, by the way, boys. <laughs> this is William, this is Hala, and this is Maasi. And they've been teaching me this beautiful song. It's so nice. It's so calm and soft. Mm. Can you tell me what it's about? So the song it was written by a commoner. He was in love with a chief's daughter. Oh. So here in Tonga, we're all about hierarchies, and it was basically impossible for them to be together. So oh. the only thing he could do was write a song. And he uses um, Kalipuli as a metaphor, like as a metaphor for his love, because he'd rather die, he'd rather go out to war and lose his life than to live with the fact that he cannot be with the girl that he's fallen for. Oh, no. So it's a pretty sad song, but I think you can kind of hear the sadness. It in is the, so sad. The melody and the words as well. Ah, oh. so the lyrics at the end, you were telling me about... Can you translate some of them? Because sure. earlier we were sure talking thing. about... Um, it's literally about death, isn't it? It is. Like he, he's saying, I would rather die. Mm -hmm. What is he saying in the end? Um, as I said, he compared, he, he used um, the war, the, war. the event in Kalipuli, as an analogy, analogy for how he felt. So in here he says, Habeyoneti, like, he'd rather caress a bayonet, you know, the call for war, than to actually... Than not be with her. Than not be with the girl that he loves. Oh. And in the end he says, Atamaya uh, kafo, his, his mind is not in the right place. He, his body is just not, you know, fully functional, mm. and that he'd rather take all of this, all of this to the grave, mm. than to carry on living. So love, love is just. Love is terrible. It can be the worst. It can be the best, <laughs> but it can be the worst. Yes. Ah. Double-edged sword. Sad. Okay. All right. Let's sing it. Let's sing. Lovely.
Mama 